Hey Virgo, it's Chaos from Chaos of the Divine Feminine and welcome to my channel. Um, this is going to be a general energy read for the end of June. Today is June 19th. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I am a new channel and I'm trying to grow. I've been on for a month now and my first month was amazing. So if you could please like, comment, and subscribe at the very least, like and comment so that I can get your energy, so that when I do my readings, you will most likely resonate to what I'm saying with what I'm saying. Okay. Um, also, feel free to donate to the channel. I do have my information in the description for my my Cash App. Any donations will be used to get more decks, um, candles, any any and everything that I need for protection and to give accurate and clear readings. So please, yes, definitely donate if it's in your heart. I love, and I, I especially appreciate love donations of liking and commenting and subscribing, okay? So let's go on ahead and get your reading. I already, oops, somebody is walking away. That was, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, so Virgo, y'all have a lot going on. Y'all have a lot to say. Because a lot... See, when I was shuffling the magician... I saw the magician when I was shuffling. The chariot is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I have the king of pentacles, the magician, and the empress in reverse so far. So, I feel like this king of pentacles is... Um, might be an alchemist, a manifester, someone who is definitely spiritual. It's a man here that's spiritual. You're on your way out. I have uh, the chariot movement. Don't know where you're going yet. Let's let's get more information. The death. Something is ending. God damn it. Like, y'all really got shit popping out. Okay, so Virgo, you are really take you are really whatever the hell is going on. You are assessing your, your current investments. The work you put in in certain things, whether it be a job or a relationship. With this Empress in reverse, I feel like this is a relationship. You are really taking inventory on this relationship. You're trying to see if this is worth... If this is worth staying in. I preach this is in the building. That's intuition. Okay, I'm I'm talking to a very spiritual male Virgo here. The chariot is still at the bottom of the deck, and I've shuffled three times already, I think. Okay. Some shit popped out. The lovers is the lovers is at the the two of cups is at the bottom of the deck. The king of swords, the nine of cups, and the strength card. Working hard. Hold on, let me. See. I haven't had to look at my notes in a while. I'm proud of myself, but I need to look at my notes real quick. Wait, this is the eight of pentacles. That's about working. Okay. Oh, okay. So, usually, the Eight of Pentacles is about, like, an apprenticeship, working on something, learning something. But with this Empress in Reverse... Okay, so the lovers, the eight of pentacles, and the ace of swords, and the five of swords. Okay, somebody stabbed you in the back. Hold on, let me let me lay this out because I want to clarify. Okay, yeah, I want to clarify this lovers card, but you have the five of pentacles. I mean, the five of swords which is sneaky, deceitful energy, might even be somebody like watching you on social media. 
the um, Ace of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords is seeking the truth. Eight of Pentacles in this instance is somebody, somebody was doing some fuck shit. Someone was juggling. Someone's juggling in this situation. Okay, so this is a relationship. Someone is definitely, two of Pentacles still at the bottom of the deck with the lovers. And the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Chariot, the Knight of Wands. Okay, Judgment. Some, the Judgment. You're you're making a choice. You're making a choice. Okay, hold on. Let's see the Lovers. Clarify this, lovers, for me, please. That's the seven, the six, six of wands in reverse. So that's no movement for it. You have the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hold on now, the ten of the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. Three of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. It looks like the um, Queen of Wands, the Death. New Balance. That's the song you're on right now, New Balance by Janae Aiko. You're moving towards your Ten of Pentacles. You're moving towards your wish fulfillment. But you're still in your head and like you're 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 still not over this past pain you're moving forward with your pain still intact what the hell who is doing that what is this okay whoever you're moving towards whoever you're moving towards with this ten of pentacles they feel the same it looks like they're almost waiting for you to come. Yeah, you, you've made up your mind. Okay, there's the Knight of Pentacles down here. You've made up your mind. So, if you know what you're moving towards, clarify this. Um... Six of Wands in reverse. Oh, okay. These three flipped over. The eight, the Three of Cups. This is usually, this represents celebration. It's clarifying the Two of Cups. And the six of wands is in reverse. You're ready to celebrate, like you finna ask somebody to marry you. You're moving forward with an offer. You're whatever this situation that you have right now. You want to leave, but you're not just leaving with no plan. This was strategic as fuck. That magician is out here with the King of Pentacles. This was strategic as fuck. You knew that you're about to, you already knew you were about to leave this situation and you already know your next move. You know the saying, make your next move your best move. 
you're going from one relate. I don't like that. Me personally, I don't relationship jump personally. I never advise that because if you're jumping from relationship to relationship, even if your intentions are good, how are you taking time to learn the lessons from your previous relationship, learning what you contributed to the failure of that relationship and learning what they contributed, learning the red flags and what to look. There are lessons. Each relationship is a lesson. You have to have pause. You have to stop. Think, recall, re-strategize, reconfigurate your thinking, figure out what it is that you need to work on as far as yourself, but not only what you need to work on for yourself, because it's not always just one, like you have to know what to expect, what, what you expect. You need to know what you expect in your next relationship, what you're willing and not willing to deal with and put up with. You can't do that if you're relationship hopping. That's not fair to you and that's not fair to the next person because it's a rebound. Like you're moving forward. You're leaving something. Whatever you're in right now, you're leaving that and you're moving forward with a very a very strong and serious offer to the next bitch. Like what? Or the next nigga. Flip flop it how you need to. You're trying to You're, yeah, you're, okay, so I can understand taking stock on your current relationship, which you are, you're, you're, you're realizing what's not working here. This empress is in reverse. So maybe this person isn't who you thought they would be. Maybe you were blinded by a facade an infatuation, a fantasy. And now this empress that you were seeking, that you saw everything with, that you thought was everything that you were seeking. Once that, that fantasy faded and that facade faded, you realize that she wasn't who she presented herself to be. Or this could be a he. You know, masculine and, and feminine energy exist in both, in all of us. There are definitely some males that are more masculine or more feminine, and there are females that are more masculine. That's where you get your beta males and your alpha females. So... Maybe you thought this was a, a alpha female, a divine feminine, whatever, but that's not what she is. This is this is a person, male or female, that just goes with whatever, goes with whatever. Like they don't have a mind of their own. Okay. Ten of Pentacles is still at the bottom. Okay, wait. Let me just reshuffle because those are the same cards. Page of Wands. Let's clarify this Eight of Pentacles. No, let's... Okay. Ace of Swords. What truth are you seeking? Or what truth, Ace of, uh, Ace of Swords, Holy Spirit, clarify this Ace of Swords. Ten of, uh, Ten of Cups still at the bottom. Now the Emperor is at the bottom. 
Ace of Swords, please, spirit. The moon. The moon came out sideways. And the Nine of Pentacles came up right. The moon is usually something hidden, something mysterious, secrets, half lies, you know, a lie by omission. But it's, it came out sideways. So it looks like you're on your way to the truth. You're on your way to discovering the truth. With this Nine of Pentacles, this is a single... A single woman, a single independent woman. Temperance, Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups, High Priestess, Seven of Swords, Six of Swords. You're gonna try and offer something to this Nine of Pentacles woman. The Wheel of Fortune. You're seeking balance. Okay. This. You're seeking balance. You're, you're coming in with an offer to whoever this Nine of Pentacles is. You're coming in with an offer. You're trying to give this person your world. But it looks like this person's going to walk away. This is a high priest. The high priestess is someone that's very intuitive. Someone is moving forward against their heartbreak, their heartache, and their pain. Someone is moving forward fast, still full of pain. Someone has not healed, but is still trying to move forward towards this, this Nine of Pentacles woman, this High Priestess. And I feel like this High Priestess is already going to be up on game. Yeah, she's going to be guarded. Queen of Swords. Some This could be somebody either you're stalking on social media. You're watching their every move. This is you. Knight of Cups. It's drama. Somebody's not going to be with this. Because somebody didn't heal. Whether this is you, Virgo, or this is the other person. Somebody is moving towards another person. Someone is dropping one relationship. Moving towards another relationship. But they have not put in any spiritual work at all. This person is still hard-headed as fuck. Hard as fuck, full of pain and anger. This person has not. I was just talking. I just was. I just had my homeboy over here and in his homegirl. We was just talking, and I was talking about um, chaos magic and chaos. And the whole point of chaos magic is using your chaotic negative emotions learning how to um 
learning how, how do I want to say this? Learning how to control, not control, learning how to, how to harness, harness your emotions, learning how to harness your chaotic emotions and filtering it and using it to manifest. Somebody is not doing the work. Someone is full of chaos, anger. But we got the fool here. We got the Knight of Cups in the fool, which is tunnel vision, taking a leap of faith and moving forward. Fast communication. Either you're going to communicate with somebody or somebody is going to reach out to you. Retrograde ain't over yet. Not till Tuesday. This is a codependent energy. The two of pentacles and the lovers. And the, and the ace of wands. Queen of cups. Three of cups came back out. Chariot. This is so... You got tunnel vision on this person, or this person has tunnel vision on you. Flip it how you need to, Virgo. Somebody is desperate to leave whatever situation they have right now and move forward. I feel like whoever this is, they're gonna move forward and fuck some, try and fuck some, not try and fuck some, like, I feel like because of the way this is happening, the person that you're trying to move towards that you might love or whatever, this ain't, this ain't kosher. You're gonna move towards them or they're gonna move towards you, still pull a, full of pain and anger and it's going to end up sabotaging this relationship this is this has the potential of being very traumatic for the unsuspecting person here what about the person that's, that's getting left, Spirit? It's a wrap. It doesn't look like this person even really cares. The Page of Swords. Okay, so on this spot, it's the World card and the Page of Swords. I think, okay, so whoever, hold on, the page is sort of spirit. Page of Pentacles again. This is the energy I have right now. This ain't good. None of this is. So we got the um, devil. Two of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, Three of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Someone's going to end up shutting down.
Someone's gonna shut down. This is gonna trigger the fuck out of somebody. And they're gonna shut down. I don't know who. I feel like. I feel like the person you're moving towards. This is going to. Whoever is moving towards somebody and they have not healed yet, they're still in all, got all these swords. This sword energy is heavy. This sword energy. This is somebody that don't trust no fucking body. You don't trust a goddamn person. No matter if you love them or not, you still expect the worst out of whoever you love. Every time. Whoever this is that's not healing but is moving forward anyway. You're going to trigger the person that you're moving towards. I feel like the person that you're moving towards has already stepped into their healing. They're doing the work. And you're going to come in and disrupt that. In some way. Yeah. I see somebody trying to soften their heart. There's going to be a marriage. There, Somebody's going to propose and get turned down. But I do see. Okay. Somebody is a star. You, someone sees the other person as the star. Could be Aquarius. Opposite of Aquarius is Leo. The Hermit. Virgo. The sun, more Leo energy. The uh, six of pentacles. Okay, so there are mutual feelings here. A ten of pentacles is obtainable and achievable. King of wands, the tower. Someone's going to fuck this up. Someone's going to come in fast. Thinking that this is what they want. And then you're going to nut up. Because you haven't healed. You don't know how to accept love. How are you going to go get love when you don't know how to. When you can't handle love yet. Because you haven't healed yet. Okay. I see. Okay. There's, okay. You're going to get there. You or whoever this is. Whoever this is, Virgo, if this is the person coming into you, they're going to get there. You might have to just, you might have to, you're going to have to move away from this person. If it's, if it's the person coming into you that hasn't healed yet. They're going to trigger the fuck out of you, okay? And you're not going to be with it. Because you're going to be like, I'm in my healing energy. You know I love you. But you know you ain't right yet. And you come in to fuck with me. After all this work that I've done, you really come in to fuck with me? If that ain't you that's the other person i feel like this person whoever this person is with all this sword energy they're gonna get through it you just whoever it is they need to heal first like they really need to heal and i'm sorry to say this but it's a possibility that this person whoever this person is that you're moving towards. Well, I don't even want to say that. Okay, so they might move on for the time being. But what is the saying? If you love something and it's yours, 
and you let it go, it's going to come back to you. Something like that. So, so yeah, you, you're in your head. You're in your head about this love connection. Damn, I'm already 30 minutes in. See, I was not trying to do this long. Somebody is coming in. What a what a so now <laughs> so now you want to come to this Queen of Cups with your dick out like I feel like whoever this is they're gonna try every angle they're gonna try love bombing then they're gonna try dick dick dickmatation dick to dickmatize the person. Or pussymatize, whoever, whatever, flip it how you need. Someone's really in their head about this. Someone is torturing themselves about this connection, about what needs to be done, how to move forward, how to move forward without being rejected. It's some, well, maybe you can start by releasing some fucking secrets. Like, you can't start a relationship. You, you have to start a relationship with a solid foundation. And you can't have a solid foundation if there's still secrets. If there's still shit that you're hiding. If you're still not showing your full self. Justice. The justice is coming. Three of Swords. Ace of Cups. The fool. Okay. I see if you take the time to heal first, or the person coming towards you takes the time to heal first. I see it coming together eventually. It might not be anytime soon, but maybe in the uh in the future. See, this keeps coming. I just shuffled these cards. Same fucking cards. The Emperor. There's somebody is in denial. Somebody is in their head about some shit. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups keeps coming out. Somebody needs to heal. I see that, like, for real, if you just take the time to heal yourself and understand why you're the way you are, why you may keep having the same issues in relationships, Eight of Pentacles, that's taking inventory, okay? So you are, you are thinking you are thinking. Okay, that's that's good. That's a good start. Whoever this is, they are thinking. They're 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 taking inventory of what the fuck is happening in in their life and in their relationships. Okay. The Ten of Pentacles keeps coming out. You just have to heal, okay? If you need heal, you if you need help healing, you need to say that. Whoever this person is that needs healing to receive this ten of cups, I think you need to see, speak up. But you need to speak up in a way that you can be understood, okay? Speak up in a way that whoever you're seeking help from, they understand where you're coming from. They understand that your 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 heart is tormented. They understand that you just want peace within your soul. This is the drama, the chaos, the fighting. That's what this is. I feel like this is how you're coming at it. Like, I feel like if it don't go your way, this is this is the outcome. The five of swords, you you ready to fight. You're too defensive. Whoever this is is very defensive about their flaws. 
You can't be like there's you. What do they say? Like, I know everybody's seen movies, whether you've been in AA or not. You, we've all seen the movies where in AA, hi, my name is such and such, and I am an addict. The first step is admitting that you have a problem. You have to call yourself on your bullshit. And then you like the other way, the only way that an addict can truly not saying that you're an addict. This is just an example, a metaphor or whatever. That person has to want to get help. You have to want to heal for to get your to get your ten of pinnacle, uh, your ten of cups. You have to want to heal. You have to let go of this. You have you see this person is pushing their pain and their burdens by they're handling all this shit by themselves. You have to let go and let other people help you. The judgment. Ten of Swords. Three of, of Wands. This is still someone guarded. It's forward movement, but it's it's not where it could be. It's not no uh, eight of wands. The moon and knight of pentacles. I mean the knight of cups. You can't make this offer with secrets. You can't make this offer with deceit. You can't start a foundation with deceit. Queen of Swords. Whoever this is you're moving towards, they're going to be in this Queen of Swords energy. They're going to call you on your shit. They're, when you, if you come forward to them and it ain't right it ain't like you're on some bullshit you're secretly on some bullshit because you know you ain't healed and you're trying to just move on you can't get over shit by just skipping on to the next person and i feel like this whoever this is that you're moving towards or whoever's moving towards you Either you're going to call them on their shit or they're going to call you on your shit. Mutual feel. I keep saying, okay, y'all listen, whoever this is that you're moving towards, they love you. They, you're their world, okay? They love you. They've already taken inventory on this, on this relationship themselves. They want marriage. They want a family empress. This is the empress. This, this is a very nurturing, might even be pregnant, like, but I feel like you're still in the king of swords energy. Okay. Hangman. See, it's telling the story. I need y'all to follow me. The hangman energy. You need to get a new perspective. You need to understand what it is that you're doing or else you're going to be left out in the cold okay virgo i see either you communicating soon if if it's you you need to go on ahead and reach out and let let whoever it is know hey i need help i'm i'm not right within i'm tired i'm not right within i'm unhappy i'm in pain i don't know what else to do I need help. I need guidance. I need I need to get out of this pain. I need to learn how to liberate myself from this pain. I don't say release. We don't release shit. Words of spells. We don't want to release anything. What's a lease? You lease your apartment for 12 months. Over and over, reoccur, you... You, you're putting in on it every month for a year. 
you lease a car, you're putting in every month on it for a year. And at the end, if it has any damage, whatever you're, or you go over your mileage, whatever they take from you, like we're not releasing anything. We are liberating. You need to reach out or this person needs to reach out before y'all are left out in the cold. I don't see this moving forward until somebody heals. Once you heal, you got to regain your strength. You're a very strong person, Virgo. You've always, I feel like you've always been the strong, look at this, nine of cups. I feel like you've always been the backbone of whatever it is that you're in. You've always had to carry the weight of everyone around you, everything around you. Yes, I keep getting the same cards over and over again in the same order. Okay, that is it's getting repetitive at this point. <laughs> Okay, so Virgo, yes. I see you missing out. Somebody not taking you up on your offer. You come into an end. If you don't fight. Fight for what you want. Fight for your liberation. Fight to free yourself from this pain. Once you do that, the luck is in your favor. Will of fortune. Yep. That's it. All right. That's all I have for you. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe. Please get this channel. Help me get this channel going. Comment. Let me know what parts resonated with you. Uh, what parts you weren't sure about or clarification. Let me know how much this resonated because I feel like this is going to resonate with a lot of people because we're at this point we're a lot of us are going through similar um, similar processes in this ascension like we're, we're shifting we're moving from 3D to 5D. If you are moving from 3D to 5D, you are definitely, this should definitely resonate with you in some way because we're all going through this. We're all realizing who our karmics are, realizing who our twin flames are, who realizing who our soulmates are, realizing that we don't always end up with the twin flame or the soulmate every lifetime. Like realizing that a twin flame can easily become a karmic if the timing is wrong, it's all about divine timing. Yes. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.